Hello, beautiful people. And aren't we looking lovely today? Mm, you've got a very well rested look about you. Hope you all had a nice holiday. And now the holiday's over. We're heading to SAS semi-annual sale is here. So I thought I would share some of my recommendations and my wish list of what I would like to pick up if I could go to the sale this year. This is when it gets sad. Cue violin music. I cannot attend the SAS. <laughs> I'm playing so bad, sorry. No, sadly, those that know know, I do not live in a country that has Bath and Body Works at the moment. So everything I buy is online. And no, I usually never get such great sale prices. So ladies, enjoy. Get out there and snatch up those deals while you can and really hope you enjoy yourself at the sale. Okay, so firstly, my recommendations, if you can, because of course, sometimes not faster than last, fall in bloom. So those of you that saw my video when I first hauled, most of these, these are actually all from the haul video. And I guess she wasn't really what I was expecting, but I have been loving Fall in Bloom. It smells so classy, so high end, so expensive. No one will guess it's the Bath and Body Works. Already people have asked me, what fragrance is that? Is it Baccarat Rouge? Is it Burberry Har? I'm like, <laughs> Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Yeah, love definitely worth a, um, a backup. And I've not been doing backups recently. As you know, the fragrance notes are Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, Velvet Moss. And I think it's the Velvet Moss that makes it very long lasting. Now, the projection isn't the best. It's not super powerful projecting for a long time. I mean, it's a body spray. What do you want? but it does last very long on clothes so i think it is very worth the money for the lasting power and i really hope to get another one of these a backup because i don't know if you can see i have already used quite you know a couple of times and i've been trying to be sparing with it okay the next one Midnight Amber Glow. Now, when I first smelled this, I was a little surprised. It wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be. But, whoa, my, oh my, have I fallen in love with this fragrance. I cannot walk past it without smelling it. It is that good. I know there was a lot of hype, but really, she be that good. It is that caramel that warm but not too sweet not too warm just the mix of it the perfect they just got it spot on with this one because i'm not someone who really likes heavy gourmand like for example your raspberry jam donut your coconut cream pie i can take in moderation when i'm in the mood not a lot a lot of that type of fragrance but I love this one. So the caramel is like, um, it's not a sickly sweet caramel. It's like, you know, when you make the caramel and it gets to that point when it's just about to burn, it's a very deep caramel scent. And then for sure there's, I mean, it doesn't say it in the notes, but I think for sure there's a little cinnamon or something in there as well. And the coffee, but it's not, you know, you're not smelling like someone just spilled their coffee on you. Not at all. <laughs> it is a very beautiful fragrance. I think anyone could blind buy this and like it. The same with Fall and Bloom. Definitely easy to be blind buys. Everyone's going to love it. Don't miss out. Catch it while you can. Okay, the next two. The first one is Dream Bright, which I also liked from the first smell. 
Um, mm, just have to smell it again. I definitely like this kind of scent, but I know that maybe not everyone will love it the same way that perhaps everyone's going to love Fall in Bloom and Midnight Amber Glow. And I forgot to mention about Fall in Bloom. It, it says plum, but to me, I definitely smell some strawberry in there. I don't know if anyone else is smelling strawberry with Fall in Bloom. Let me know if it's just my nose. Anyway, I digress. Back to Dream Bright. And with Dream Bright, um, you know, it is its own unique scent. It's not a repackage, but it's samey, maybe, with some other scents that perhaps you already have. So worth a buy, definitely, if you can pick it up, if it, if it goes to, you know, if it's on sale. I think it's definitely worth a buy. I probably won't get a backup, though, of this one, but I definitely do like it. Okay, next one. Next one is Poppy, and I feel so bad for little Poppy because I feel like she just didn't get the love, you know, when she came out. <laughs> a lot of people were just like, oh, what's this? Just like, say me, say me, scent. And I know, it's like fruity, floral, you know, very similar to like, maybe like Midsummer Dream or, you know, any of those. But it's a very nice scent. You know, I, I like how they've done the the stem of the poppy using the the little I don't even know what that's called the tube thing <laughs> from the from the sprayer. I don't know what that's called. Maybe someone in the comments can educate me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, I know it's winter as well just now, so we're maybe not thinking about spring scents, but I do recommend you pick up poppy. Um, thinking about the spring and the summer, I think this will be an amazing spring scent and I'm really looking forward to pulling it out in the spring and using her. Okay, now moving on to my wish list. I was going to edit in the pictures, but then I thought, what will I do with my hands? So, <laughs> so I'm just going to show you this picture. The first one we can see is Sea Island Shore. So actually I have already ordered this one, it's on the way. So hopefully you'll be getting a first impression review, quick review of that one soon. And also very excited that they've brought back Brown Sugar and Fig. So Brown Sugar and Fig, we know the scent notes, fresh fig, coconut milk and melted brown sugar mm. so i hope they've done it right i hope they've not brought back some watered down version i hope that fig is strong and sweet and everything i've been dreaming of and also this collection i really like the packaging on this collection this collection i'm very intrigued by the scent notes of pink lily and bamboo now has this been out before i feel like this name is very familiar um the scent notes are wild lily petals bamboo leaf pink ginger fresh fig and sauna wood so i love love a good fig note it was that fig note that was intriguing me and then the pink ginger even more so so it's like fresh and warm. Mm, I would really like to smell this one. And I've heard other people give good reviews as well. The other one there, that whipped rose and vanilla, that was the whipped rose latte. Oh, I don't, I don't care for that one. I got it when it came out the first time. Wasn't for me. Sorry, I keep smacking my lips. It's a very annoying habit. Okay, next. The candles. Probably two, uh, the two right here that I would really like to try. The pistachio and vanilla, you can't see it at all, it's completely bloody. <laughs> but you know, I think you know. Pistachio and vanilla, this one, and the rose and leather. And then, oh, wrapped in vanilla, I almost had her. I almost had her, I had her in my shopping cart. And then when I went back to click pay, it was already sold out. I was so sad. This one has been getting so much hype. Everyone is saying it's the best vanilla scent Bath & Body Works has ever done. And the, the scent notes don't seem anything special. It's just soft vanilla, 
Velvet Sugar and Chantilly Cream, but everyone is saying is so nice. I cannot wait to get that one. And the last one I'm dreaming of is Blush Cardigan. Again, many people are saying just how great she is. And the scent notes are sweet raspberries, sugar dipped violets and warm amber. So one I'm really hoping to get my hands on soon as well. And so that's all my... Oh, and another thing. Um, those of you that love white t-shirt, you might be hard pressed to find the body care. But I know they have the room spray in white t-shirt. So you could always look for that if you're a white t-shirt fan. I certainly would love to get my hands on more white t-shirt products. And that's my last little tip of today. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. And when you hit subscribe, please don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And please leave me a little comment with your thoughts as well. And I can get to know you. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Take time to have a little joy break in your day and really take care. Love you all. Bye bye.